So if you listened to the video that I posted last night, you should have made a lot of money within the stock market. I had told you guys that we were interested in buying put options and shorting the market once SPY fills that gap at $438.50. It was almost the high of day, but I had also stated if you see a bearish 30 minute confirmation towards that key level, that is when you're gonna to wanna to buy put options and that is when you're gonna to wanna to go short. Now, if you go back and watch that video, that analysis that I gave out was 100% spot on. As you can see, the SPY was consistently going up. Once the SPY went to our key level for puts, which was right here when it fills the gap at 438.50, what are you gonna to wanna to do? You're gonna to wanna to either wait for the gap to fill and look for a bearish confirmation on the one minute chart, but the best confirmation is the 30 minute chart. And once you see a red bearish 30 minute confirmation towards the gap, at the gap, or above the gap in terms of short and going puts, that's when you buy puts. And as you can see, when that first red bearish 30 minute candlestick ended up hitting and closing at 436.79, the SPY had a massive drop. So as you can see, the 30 minute trading strategy works, like I told you it is not going to get you in at the best entry. The best entry on the high of day was 438.14. I told you to go short at 438.50 because that's where the gap is to fill. But if it's close to the gap and you see a bearish 30 minute red candlestick towards the major resistance close to the gap, you can get in once that 30 minute candlestick closes right here, you get in, you don't nickel and dime it. And as you could see, you would have been getting in towards the opening of this 30 minute candlestick towards 437. So it didn't get you in at the best entry at the exact top, but it's a confirmation that gets you an extremely high successful win rate and it gets you in at perfect timing, which is extremely crucial for trading options. So if you listen to the analysis that I posted last night, you shouldn't have had a problem in terms of making hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars. With that being said, let's get into analysis. In terms of analysis, my first trades that I ended posting today were call options. I was buying call options and you're probably wondering, Will, why are you buying call options? There was previous resistance on the SPY right here at $432 to $432.40. This previous resistance was not retested. As you can see, the SPY had a massive gap up and it went all the way to 438. Like I tell you all the time, when it drops back down to that previous resistance level, it is supposed to bounce and react as a support level on the initial reaction. So when I saw that it was beginning to test this level and the 30 minute confirmation that I used was, the 30 minute confirmation was so simple. It formed a red pin on the 30 minute candle and I talk about this all the time. If you see a 30 minute candle with a red top wick like this at previous resistance testing for the first time, it's gonna try to react to support and it's gonna try to explode up to $433.60 which is why I was buying calls when this 30 minute candlestick closed like this, because the confirmation was there's a floor at previous resistance. It's going to try to bounce. There's a 30 minute wick that's saying it's going to try to retest the high 40, 33, 60, and also spy gap down. And it's going to try to explode up and fill the gap. The entire team was banking off calls, man. And you could also use the 30 minute trading strategy to buy put options and go short towards the exact peak. That's the overall recap and the analysis on what I've been teaching. If you go back and follow this channel, you will see I teach these same simple trading strategies with the key levels all the time. And within Trader Society, I teach within my course and I mentor on how to trade these strategies, right? So with that being said, that's the overall recap and price action analysis on the day. Now you're probably wondering, what are the new key levels? So in terms of my key levels, I give out my key levels when the market is closed, I give out the key levels when extended hours is trading. So in the pre-market, my members within Trader Society are gonna get new key levels if I see a new key level. And then during normal trading hours, they're gonna get more new key levels. It never stops. There's always new trading opportunities. There's always overreactions within the market where you can use my trading strategies to profit. This is just what I post in terms of the nightly analysis. Now, with that being said, these are the current key levels. In terms of a level that I'm extremely interested in, is going to be the following. We are still waiting, as I had stated in my previous videos, we are still waiting to buy calls at the gap. There's a gap that is waiting to fill below. So if you wanna plant some money seeds, make sure you're setting price alerts at these levels, right? So um, we're interested in buying call options once the SPY closes the gap. There's a gap to fill at 431.50. When it tries to fill that gap and when it tests this pre-market support for the first time, it's going to try to bounce and spike first. So we're gonna be looking to buy call options at that level. Also, 
There is key previous support in the pre-market that has not been tested at $430.50. Those are going to be our two levels to be buying call options at, right? Now, with that being said, what about the puts? Where are we interested in going short? Where are we interested in buying put options? One level that I will consider buying put options is towards this level, 438 to 438.50. I will still be showing some interest in buying put options towards that level. Now, another level that I want you to keep an eye on is this. You can keep an eye on this. There was support for a couple minutes at this 437.30 level. When the SPY cracked this support level, it had a big drop very, very quickly, and then it formed lower highs. So it never spiked back up towards that previous support level. So when this goes back to 437.30, they're gonna try to drop it first. So I'm gonna keep an eye to see if that previous support reacts as a resistance, reacts as a lower high. That is a level that I'd be showing interest on, along with this level right here. 438, some previous support, but it's already been kind of retested in a sense. It already played on a sense. And we still technically do have that gap that's waiting to fill above at 438.50. But you need to keep in mind, this level has already been working out several times, man. It worked out in the pre-market right here at 438.50. It had a gap close reversal in the pre-market. Then it sold off hard. And then you can see right here, we've just had so many drops from this 437-ish level. And then in terms of today, I almost called the exact top. You guys have to understand I'm not being a wizard in a sense. I know where the traps are gonna get created and I'm a trader. Just because I said 438.50 is the level where I'm interested in buying puts, I might be buying puts at a slightly lower level using my 30 minute trading strategy. I was buying puts at lower levels because there was a red bearish 30 minute confirmation that I brought awareness to within Trader Society. I clearly told them we all prevented getting trapped and buying puts. We were buying calls using my trading strategy, previous resistance supposed to react to support with the 30 minute bullish wick. We were crushing on calls. And then I told them, I'm gonna show some interest in buying puts at 436 for a quick scalp. I bought puts at 436 when they went out of the money. I sold them back in the money for a quick scalp. Then I told them the best gap and the best price and the best thing to do is to wait for 438.50, the next gap, and you can look for a bearish 30 minute confirmation. I always say, the best confirmation is the 30 minute chart and it does not have to form exactly at our key level. It can be slightly under it. It can be at our key level. It can be slightly above it. But if there is a 30 minute confirmation to enter towards our key level, it is likely going to work the vast majority of the time. And it's going to allow you to time it perfectly in a sense. You just have to understand you might not be getting the best entry, but you'll be getting in at the best time possible with a very, very high win rate. So those are some things that I wanted to address um, in terms of put options. I gave you the levels for put options just to go over in terms of just a little further levels on put options. You know, I'm keeping an eye on the following levels. We already addressed this in, um, you know, the video that I posted last night. We're keeping an eye on 444 and we're keeping an eye on 440. Those are just some previous support, previous resistance levels. I was going to try to react as new lower highs in a sense. Now, another thing to be aware of is we have a new gap. There's going to be a new gap to fill on the SPY at $436. So just keep an eye on that level because one of our key levels is always targeting the previous closing price where the gap is waiting to fill, but it's not created all inkly. Just understand and be aware that there's a gap at 436. Now, what you need to understand about this gap at 436 is if it reacts as a resistance, the SPY is going to start to go bearish. If it reacts as a support level, the SPY is going to start to go bullish. It's a make or break level. And in terms of the channel, you can just visually see Look at the charts. This is the channel. So right now we're towards the upper middle of the channel in terms of where the spy closed, closed at 436 towards this previous support level. It's make or break. If it reacts as a resistance, they're going to try to crack the support, go a little bit bearish. If it breaks out and reacts to support, they're going to try to go a little bit bullish and then potentially drop it for quick scalps um, towards those levels. If you're looking for more of a trend trade, with overall 30 minute direction for a day trade and bigger win, or you can scalp with that trend for the next 30 minutes, making two to three quick scalps. If you know how to do that, which is what I teach within trader society, you don't have to hold for 30 minutes. You can make two to three scalps on a 30 minute confirmation. The best way to get a sense of that overall trend is to use my key levels with the 30 minute confirmation. And remember you don't, the confirmation does not have to form exactly at my level. It could be slightly above it. It could be slightly under it. It could be right at it, right? It's not always going to get you in at the best entry, but it's going to get you in at the perfect timing in a sense. And it has an extremely high win rate and it's a very safe, profitable confirmation. I had a member within Trader Society who came into my life and he told me about the 30 minute chart. 
And he was teaching me some things in Miami about it in person. And I didn't understand some of the things that he was teaching me, but I listened to what he said. And I began to test and experiment with everything that is that I know about the market using the 30 minute candlesticks. And it took some time, but I figured it out and it worked. And there's going to be people that come into your life and they're going to tell you things and you have to listen and you have to experiment and see if it works for yourself. You can either accept their mentorship and accept their help, or you can just try to take what they're giving you and try to figure it out on your own. So with that being said, that's the overall analysis on SPY. And that is what I'm interested in doing heading into tomorrow. For those of you within Trader Society, there's going to be new analysis in the pre-market. If I see something, there's always going to be new analysis during normal trading hours. I am currently working on a system within Trader Society that is going to allow people to trade the best setups at the best prices. It's going to be quality over quantity trades of trades that correlate with the strategies that I teach. With that being said, in terms of the system that I've been working on, I'll show you. It starts right here with the key levels to trade. First step is the key levels to trade. The key levels to trade is where I post a video and I post a written analysis explaining the key level. And it shows them how I create the key level. And when I trade at my key levels, I use price action trading strategies. Spy breaks above resistance, drops back down, previous resistance reacts to support, that's where we buy. I have all sorts of different strategies, gap close reversal strategies, gap those strategies, and I stack them all together sometimes. And I bring awareness of what that strategy is. And I teach those strategies within the video lesson library. Over 80% of my members have not gone to the educational section and they have not watched the video lesson library. Some of the most successful traders within Trader Society have watched the entire thing. And I teach those strategies in there. And I'm going to be working on doing live mentoring sessions as well within my group, teaching them live examples as well. And that's just the first step of Trader Society system. The second step is going to be 30 minute confirmations. If I see a confirmation on the 30 minute chart towards my key levels, I will be providing that 30 minute confirmation and I'll be showing in real time what it looks like and explaining it to them. And then in terms of my trading section, this is where I post my trades in real time. So with that being said, those are some things that I've been working along the scenes. I'm also working on a project with GWAR that's currently private within Trader Society and currently a separate subscription within Trader Society. That is something that I've been working on privately with him. Now, with that being said, I'm going to be signing off this video. In terms of everything that is included with Trader Society, if you would like to join right now, it is all explained in the first link down below in the description.